as we always know, before we go to the Reddit, we sing the iconic Reddit song. Sing it with me, chat. It's, it's time for Reddit with Atriarch. So let's go see what memes are at the top. Are this week's posts fire or flops? So go join r slash Atriarch. Welcome to the Reddit. Let's see. It's been a long time. This has actually been the longest gap since Reddit recaps that I've ever, ever done. We'll look at top of the week and we might even go farther back than that. Starting with this photo from my time at Twitch. He absolutely spilled that smoothie in this picture and I'm tired of pretending that he didn't. I didn't. First of all, I didn't. I never spill a smoothie. In fact, if you want to know the God's honest truth, I don't know exactly why I did this, but... I did, when I worked at Twitch, call myself the Smoothie King. And I would regularly tweet pictures of my smoothies to like 20 likes. This is not fake. From November 4th, 2016. Brandon, nah. More like Blendon. The Smoothie King is back on the job and he is comfortable on his throne. <laughs> and it's a picture of the smoothie I made that day. <laughs> I am the Smoothie King. Another A-plus smoothie from the king himself. <laughs> it's a full... Oh, and then they... Okay, one day Twitch hired someone to make smoothies for everybody, so I wasn't allowed to use the kitchen. So I tweeted, it's a full-on revolt against the smoothie king. Because I couldn't get to my blenders because this lady was making smoothies for me, and she made these dog shit smoothies. They don't have my kingly attitude. The Smoothie King always raises a toast to his loyal subjects before beating them in Smash Bros. <laughs> and that's Robbie from Finance, who I wax in Smash Bros. regularly. Almost every day I'd wax this guy in Smash Bros. The Smoothie King says goodbye to his Twitch kingdom with a traditional three blender salute. <laughs> Bro, I mean, there's a lot of posts here. Yeah, you guys didn't know. You guys didn't know you were talking to royalty. No, you thought I was just some marketing employee turned streamer. No, I'm royalty. Okay, royal blood. I'm a smoothie king. I made the best smoothies at Twitch. Everybody knew it. Nobody matches my smoothie game. Nobody matches me with a blender. I My wish is that everyone in the world could experience one of my smoothies, but the fact is I don't have enough hands, I don't have enough blending time to make it happen. I am surprised there's still more. There's a girl walking around Twitch HQ giving out smoothies on a cart. Trying to one-up the smoothie king is tantamount to treason. <laughs> Might have been the same girl. I was kind of following around, tweeting and harassing her, I guess. The hashtag Smoothie King is honored to present the Smoothie Prince. And that's where this photo comes from. <laughs> you know, I sort of taught him my ways and he joined the Smoothie Monarchy. So that's a little bit of lore that you guys didn't know that I was royalty. Did a single other person call you the Smoothie King? You fucked up. You fucked up, Chatter. I, I can't believe it, but you did. You just fucked up. Oh boy, you made a mistake today. And you're going to pay for it. Hey, what's up? Hey, dude? hey, Big T. It's actually a, a very urgent question. Okay, it better be. We worked together at Twitch um, yeah. around 2016, yeah. 2017 yeah. era. And I wondered if there was any royalty at the Twitch yeah. office when the time you were there. Royalty? Yeah, let's say kings of, of any. Oh! I'm, I'm just wondering. I'm wondering if you could let the chat know that if, if, if you knew any royalty when you were at Twitch. I come to think of it, I knew a guy. Mm. I knew a guy. And, well, you know, I mean, we would make smoothies together. Oh, in really? <laughs> kitchen, yeah. So he was some sort of, you might even call him like a smoothie king. <laughs> well, he called himself that. <laughs> well, you'd say the people call him that. Yeah. You'd say more well, than no. him. If you, if more people than him. <laughs> people than him. Okay, I yeah. would say that yeah. he kept calling himself that uh -huh. loudly uh -huh. and it was kind of funny, so I started saying it with him. Let's go! Kind of I bet it shatter that somebody else would call me the Smoothie King, and that is enough. He is permanently banned. Thank you. I appreciate your time. <laughs> uh, again, it's always an honor to meet the common folk who sort of helped me rise to my throne atop the Smoothie Empire. There you have it, boys. Smoothie King. Uh, listen, I have to do something really quick. Just have to... Uh, make a quick change to this. This is what the king can do, okay? It's the power of the king. <laughs> All right, back to the Reddit. That was that was one Reddit post. <laughs> oh my God, I went on a long tail adventure off of one Reddit post. This student has become the master. That, that's the plan. Who that needs to pass me? It's the whole point. I want psychic, who that? Evan Gao, fucking a spectacore. I want them all. 10,000 viewers each. <laughs> and that way I can purely leech neg neg well let's not get ahead of ourselves i'll be i'll be kind of i'll be kind of sad with neg neg passing me 
I'll be honest. Everyone else, I'll be proud. Magnag, I'll be like, ah, ugh, really? <laughs> Damn, I fell off. <laughs> Guy on LSF thinks that hat is fake. Eight hat in a one minute span should have been more TBH. This forced giggling is a pet peeve of mine. I guess streamers think they need to somehow inform viewers when something is funny. Or maybe he's trying to fill dead air. Edit. Man, the responses to this comment make me feel like I went to a kindergarten and said Santa wasn't real. By the way, I've done that. I've done that. It's actually more fun than it sounds. Uh, I'm really sorry to have burst your guys' bubble. I honestly thought it was obvious. <laughs> I wish it was fake, because then I could stop it. If it was fake, then I would and could have stopped it. I wish I could stop it. The problem is, <laughs> I can't, I literally can't, I can't fucking stop it. I can't. No, it, it's literally part of me. I laugh at almost everything. Listen, I, I've probably done that, heh, during sex. I'm not even gonna lie. I, I've probably done it mid plow. Okay. I I can't. I it's just part of me. It's part of I like laughing at things. I think most things are funny. Copium, he's just not I think it's a little uh depressing that he thinks someone can't naturally laugh 24-7. No one is allowed to try and find purpose in having nothing is genuine, you must judge others. It's funny because um as a marketer, sometimes I'll read the uh there's a subreddit I used to read a lot more. I don't read it anymore. It was like um it's like people posting things they think are secretly by corporations and i just know for a fact like as a fact working in the industry that half of those are just like lame fans i, I know that people want to believe there's a big conspiracy behind things but most of the time it's not people are that lame <laughs> or they're that into corporations or they're that you know there's a few where it's like okay that that could be astroturfing but most of the time it's very obvious that it's not people are just kind of really cynical and also I think on streaming in general, I don't think, I can't think of a like a streamer that is very different on camera than off. I, I really can't because streaming is not like a YouTube video. You can't fake it. You could fake a YouTube video for eight minutes and be a different person. I think with streaming, if you're streaming six, eight hours, XQC apparently, no, he's just, he's just more reserved only because he uses all of his energy. XQC is still the same person. He still talks the same. He's passionate about the same things. He gets fired up, but in general, he just has less energy off stream. Aiden Ross just plays dumb for eight hours. <laughs> Maybe he's not playing. S3K business meeting. The gang goes to Florida. Oh, wait a minute. This is a Who Dat original classic. Why does S3K have a director now? Why are they doing camera work? When do they get the, I don't have the budget for that. What am I doing wrong? Where's my director? I want to do some fucking skits. Wake the fuck up. We got work to do. What the fuck? Oh. <laughs> First of all, Nag Nag, remember this moment, okay? Because when you get the Oscar, I, 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 you're not going to be able to walk around in public anymore. You're going to be a full-on bona fide celebrity, okay? Keep this moment in your mind. This is the last chance you can go to the grocery store without getting mobbed. I'm wishing this like a fucking the birth of an actor, birth of a star. I, I believe you as tired streamer character. You're late. <laughs> Me, I'm late. Hey, this is important, okay? A truck says we fell off. You would never say that. <laughs> you look for yourself. <laughs> you didn't even... Bro, the fucking S3K has lost their time. <laughs> So early. That was so early. I didn't even finish my sentence. That was such an early spit take. And that's why he's a great character, okay? It's a little subtle touches. Wait, was he even drinking anything? Oh, I took a sip right there. And Bro, then held the it in his mouth. S3K has lost her <laughs> he took a sip, held it in his mouth for five seconds, watched the clip, and then spit it. That, mm, I love that touch. I love that choice. And you gotta take a look at this, bro. So, over the past few months, uh, this is our approval rating. As you can see, ever since he made that video, we've dropped 40%. No. We're fucked, bro. What are we gonna do? We could do Atrioc Old. No. Uh, what about uh, Spoon Trioc? Glizzy Hands? You can call Psychic a Child. <laughs> that's a good one. That one's a that's good a, idea, but that's not a really good one. Well. Did you already say Glizzy Hands? Yeah, I did. <laughs> you said no. <laughs> Fuck! I couldn't make another music video? No one fucking likes those. What if we all <laughs> shaved our heads so that we could, uh, like, blend in with Atrio? That's not gonna work, man. I got it. We gotta put ourselves in the Glarkiter's shoes. Don't, so. Don't call me the fucking Glarkiter. I, <laughs> just do the psychic thing. Call psychic a child. That was a good one. That, get that, that, that SRK's back on top. We're gonna make a traditional multimedia marketing campaign. Oh my god, you're a genius, who <laughs> right, let's fucking get to work. And you know what? It was a masterpiece. How much would you buy? Shut up, Ludwig! It was a masterpiece. S3K's back. S3K's back. I said it. 
Approval ratings through the roof. Oh my God, an in-person video shoot? Brilliant acting from Neg Neg, a spit take? I'm, I'm uh, wary of what they're gonna create when they're together. I'm wary. When your supposedly virgin wife suddenly is pregnant, but she says it's cool because it's the son of God. I knew Joseph. He didn't act like that. Joseph was actually kind of sus. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, okay, I don't know if I buy this 100%. <laughs> he stuck with it, but he, he had his doubts that he expressed to me. In these photos is my best friend, Avery. It's going to be his 18th birthday soon, and my favorite streamer has been Atrox for years now. I've only streamed for like a year and a half, so that doesn't make sense. It would mean so much to him if Atrox were to give him a happy birthday or really anything for him. You're not talking about the burger, are you? Is this your friend or is the burger your friend? I can't tell if it's a Bergsy bit. <laughs> if it's the burger, <laughs> yo, happy birthday, king. <laughs> if it's the guy here, <laughs> hey, I don't know. I don't know you, man. I can't give a happy birthday. I don't know you. You know what I'm saying? My dad watches HROC now. Like, <laughs> my dad is really into business stuff. And so I sent him one of HROC's marketing Mondays. He really enjoyed it. And although he thinks the internet is whack, we always talk about the new marketing Monday. So thanks, big A. I am out here saving father-son relationships. Where's my fucking button? I am literally out here. You're not the only person telling me this. Apparently, for some reason, people like sharing YouTube videos with their fucking dad. And they're choosing Marketing Monday a lot. Although I will say my dad found the video where I tell that COVID story. And they've been showing it to every family member. The one where I throw up in front of a lady and they've been showing it to like ants. Oh, it's so annoying. Everyone has seen it now. I'm going to go to a family reunion and they're all going to know that fucking story. Anyway, I, this is cool. Again, like I said, I, I had a, a person recently in a business meeting tell me that, that they were talking to a teacher who knew who I was because one of his students had shown me his videos, which I thought is fucking crazy. Oh, that was really wild. So uh, yeah, I guess keep showing your dads. <laughs> Atrioc at the beginning of every elusive target video. You only get one shot. Do not miss your chance to blow. This opportunity comes once in a lifetime. You better. I remember I would play this song all the time when I was like 12. And my parents thought it was making me too rebellious. <laughs> so they forbid me from playing it. They literally banned Lose Yourself, dude. Uh, anyway, thanks Eminem for helping to explain elusive targets. I wrote an 11 page play about an old Vietnam war vet named Brandon Ewing and submitted it to my college writing course. Here are the results. I'm obviously not gonna read the 11 page play. I'm obviously not gonna do that. I have a daughter named Blair Ewing in her late 30s. <laughs> uh, there's no chance I read this 11 pages long. I'm playing Sekiro. Your grade is a 93, A minus. I trust you got a lot out of the feedback from workshop, which I thought was strong and thoughtful. The play has some exceedingly fine moments, hence the high grade. You have some real dramatic spark on the page here and a feeling of characters with real lives and deep desires and secrets. <laughs> it also feels very much like the pacing of a stage play that made it a pleasure to read. Another nice addition to your growing body of work. The writing is mostly tight and something throughout. This story might be smoothed out a bit for your final. This is so fucking wild. No, I'm not going to give it financial support to make it a short film. Obviously, I'm not going to support a film where I play a 70-year-old Vietnam War vet. It's a psychotic. But I'm glad you got an A minus, you fucking psycho. <laughs> Let me just read one line. Wait, is this like a real fucking story? <laughs> I cannot believe you made this. <laughs> I'm a YouTube frog and I'm just curious in the nicest possible way what the fuck Ari was thinking. Thanks, Big A. Love the content. And it's me eating Jimmy John's and losing at League of Legends. Oh my God, he's the one. I love your Cloud9 t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> this is like 100%. This is accurate. This is me and Ari meeting in college. <laughs> I will show her this. She'll actually love it. Uh, I don't, you know what? I don't know what she really saw either. I guess all I can tell you is that when I first met her was right before I started playing League of Legends and I was very active. Like I was working out a lot and I was going outside a lot and I was going to events and I think I was a very open, interesting person. And then right after, right after I, uh, <laughs> I got into League of Legends and I scammed her. Yeah, I fucking bait and switched her, dude. I bait and switched her.